Goodness, it is a truly busy sort of week we are having at Super Carlin Brothers. Once again, this summer, we find ourselves just in the, in the middle of work between travel, it would seem. So Ben is actually uh, going to leave Thursday evening to go to Vermont for a week. And then when he gets back, me and Beth and the kids are all heading to the beach for a week with her family. So that's all gonna be really fun. But what it means is that me and Ben are gonna miss each other in office for like two weeks. So the uh, Monday through Thursday this week are going to be immensely busy. We have to get um, lots of popcorn culture recorded because we won't be both here to record it for a while. And then we have to make sure that we just have at least, uh, I guess at least, my video when I'm going to be gone, done, and Ben's video when he's going to be gone, done. So, let's go! Ooh. Oh! Steel! That's really... Water! <laughs> What's up, guys? Hi! What are we doing? We're recording a podcast. Yeah, yeah. We're looking at ourselves. We're screwed. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. Like, we have the three camera setup going on. So, this one will be me and Beth. No, we need three cameras. Yeah. That'll be us. And then that'll be Ben and Alice. So, Riley was setting this up like half the day today, but it came out great. Also, I thought my shoes were. Oh, sorry about that. What's poppin' everybody? Hello and welcome to Popcorn Culture. My name is Ben Carlin and I am your host. With me today is my wife Alice, my sister-in-law Beth, and my brother Jay, who will be in every episode. Yeah, that's me. I'm in every episode. The good news is that no one even cares you're the host today, Ben. Everyone just cares that the girls are here. As far as I'm concerned, they just are the host. That's right. Yeah, basically. This week. <laughs> this week. Yeah. So, one true host who. I know, I know. Look at this! Oh my goodness. Beth, what do we have here? Peaches. Peaches? I'm so excited. Tell me the story about the peaches. Okay, well, I just really love peaches. My grandma always got peaches like from this local orchard in the summer and I just love them and I'm like very nostalgic about them. I've always loved them. And the last couple summers I haven't found great ones here and I kept getting ads for this thing called the peach truck where you could like... I don't know, they come from like Georgia and South Carolina and like they come right off the truck, like straight from the orchards to like a place near you. So today was the day to pick them up. I ordered them like two months ago. They're supposed to ripen for like two days and then they're ready to eat or put in the fridge or bake with or whatever. So I'm excited. Nathan, what are you doing? Are you trying to help me weed? Are you weeding the garden? So sunflower update, as you can see, I had to take down most of them. There's really just this one left and then like a few more sprouting up, but I said to keep those cause you know, why not? You gotta have hope. Also these two little ones just sprung up out of nowhere. So that's kind of nice. But for the most part, we got nothing. We got nothing, but we'll see. Maybe something will come back. Well, check that, Never mind. Literally 10 seconds after I turned the camera off, Luke came and Ripped all the leaves off them, so. <sighs> okay, so for real, we're gonna watch the finale of Stranger Things tonight, right? That's right. This has been a real journey for us. Mm -hmm. Because we thought we were gonna do it last week, and what happened? We weren't actually on the finale. Yeah, that was a problem. So now we are. And it's been something happening basically every night since then, but at long last. That's right. 7.38, the kids are asleep. Let's go. You got your bourbon? Got my bourbon. I got my Diet Coke. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Oh no, oh no. The struggle continues. It's been doing this for like a minute. Why? 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 Just let us watch the show. Success. Oh, we are in, we are in. Okay, so one of the sponsors we constantly have on SCB is called Bespoke Post. And uh, so every now and then they'll just send us a bunch of stuff so that we have stuff we can feature in the videos. This one I'm thinking probably won't make it to an SCV video though because this is the booze box where uh, you get to 
barrel age your own bourbon, which is really cool. And I am excited to try it, but it is not the sort of thing that we would probably talk about on the main channel. But you know what, this isn't the main channel. So uh, here's what we're gonna do. Cat went out today and got this little bottle of Woodford Reserve. And I guess all you're supposed to do is you got this little barrel here and you pour it in the hole, which I'm not gonna say doesn't look like it has a few wood chips in it, but whatever. Um, and then hopefully I've got the valve turned the right way and it doesn't immediately start pouring out. Maybe we should put like a safety shot under it. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm, it's too tall. Okay. Yeah, it'll work. Call it good. Little Donatella I mean, will hold it up. Just be ready with their mouth on there. Yeah. <laughs> Cat, you just want to come down here? No, oh, thank you. Cat loves bourbon. Cat does not love bourbon. <laughs> Two thumbs down. Woo! That was good. The question is, can I pour this without getting it all over the table? Survey says probably not. Oh my gosh, look at the, look at the distance I have to cover. Oh no, there's no way. I need a funnel, but I don't want to wait, so we're just going to go for it. Oh! Do you get some shots of you? As far as I can tell, Riley never shoots anything we couldn't potentially use. Oh! You're not doing too bad, honestly. This is pretty solid, yeah. All right, it's in. How exciting is it? The whole thing. Looks like we had the valve correct. So now the fun part, we wait for, I don't know, I don't know how long, like a month, two weeks, however long you want, I guess. Make it up as you go. We'll check back later. It is dripping. That doesn't seem good. <laughs> oh, it is dripping. Hmm. I hope the just fix itself. <laughs> Yo, this now smells like bourbon. Added bonus. Okay, so we just had dinner and we're cleaning up and Nick came beside he was gonna come help me and he's like helping me wipe down the tables and stuff like that. But if you'll notice what he's using for a wipe. This is some of Luke's underwear. So I'm not sure how much cleaner we're getting, but thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nikki. You wiping it down? Very good. So clean. Nate. You gonna help? Nate. No. <laughs> Morning, Luke Star. Oh. What are we doing? Playing Monopoly? Is that your money? One of our patrons sent us Super Mario Monopoly. But me and Luke have been playing it. Super fun. And look, I got a lot. You got a lot of money? Are you gonna win? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna win. I lot. Hey, hey, where's Joseph? He's right here. Oh. All right, you get here first. Okay. I hope I get a coin. Yeah. How's your morning going? Pretty good. I ran 10 miles. And now um, I've been wanting to make this recipe. I went and got the stuff and I was like, oh, we'll just be able to throw it together, which, you know, it's harder with three screaming children, but we're doing it. Um, this is tomato peach crostini with hot bacon dressing. A tomato peach crostini. Yep. So we're gonna put that stuff right there uh -huh. on those right there. Uh -huh. It's a half baked harvest recipe, which she's like, Everything she makes is like really extra and delicious. Um, somebody sent it to me saying it was really good. Cause I asked for recipes. Like a bunch of people just sent me like random links that they like hadn't made. And I'm like, you know, I can find random links on the internet. I want like a tried and true. Tried and true. My friend sent me this and was like, it was like heaven. And I was like, all right, sold. Oh man, final product. Are you so excited? I'm really excited. Right, I'm give really, it a bite. I'm really hungry. It's, it's like the best bite here. Crunch is awesome. Mm, it's super good. I'm cold. I want one. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Yeah, it was really good. Man. Checking out a new playground today. Obviously the number one thing everyone's interested in. The dinosaur. What? Luke, can you get on that thing? No? no? I bet you can. Let's see, I'll give you a hand. Aha, we did it! Are you riding on that dinosaur? I don't know, you tell me, what's his name? Maybe Peachy. Peachy? No, Peachy. Peachy. Yes. Okay, Peachy the dinosaur. Where are you going, Nate? Ooh. High five. Nice. Hey, look at you go. <laughs> this is kind of fun and Getting kind of scary. There. Nah. Ooh. Don't let go. Cross training, right? Right, exactly. This is all marathon training in the end. Agility. Probably, it's probably not agility. Balance. Strength. We have all this fun playground stuff. And our kids just want to dig in the dirt. You find any treasure, Luke? I already did. Oh, you did? You want to see? Let's see it. Ta-da! Wow. Wow, you're rich. My goodness. Really bad. Really. Nicely done. Nasta. What are you doing? See nanny. See nanny. See the beanie. When I see me, when I poopy. When I see me, when I poopy. What are you doing? <laughs> Where are Let's we today? Go. We are in this place called Boxerwood Play Trail. I heard it was cool. Oh, I see it. It's over there. I see a okay. sign. I think we're the only people here. The only people here. Because it was a little like rainy. No one today. else. But it's actually perfect weather for this. Yeah. If it doesn't start pouring down rain. It would. That's funny. Welcome to the play trail. Where's the dog? Ooh, this looks fun. You excited? Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Here we go. Here's the rules. Move stuff, make noise, get dirty, touch nature, make friends, build stuff, have fun, be safe. I like it. It's basically like all the stuff you tell kids not to do. They're just like, just go ahead and do it. Just be loud and get dirty and move stuff. Touch everything. Here comes Nathan. Here you come. Very good. Here comes Nikki. Whoa, that was good. Oh, what do you got here? A little creek? I can guess how this is gonna end. Someone's gonna fall. Oh, getting all wet, oh no. <laughs> yeah, boys. We used to call this waterfalling when I was a kid. kid. Not when I was a kid, high schooler. You just go jump on all the rocks on the river. Jonathan tried to take me waterfalling. Beth did not like it. It was in the rain. It was in the rain. The rocks were wet, yeah. <laughs> we didn't get very far. You boys look at ease though. Yeah. Oh, just dead wet. This is what Luke's excited about digging for dinosaur bones. Oh, ho, ho. what do you got? What are these bones you can find? Let's see it. What's this one? I don't know. What is this? Oh, look, there's little shovels over there, Luke. Where? Where? Right there. Look. Oh, yeah. There you go. They're wet. No, oh, they're wet? Oh, no. Ha, ha. 
What do you think? This is really cool. Look at this little, this little hill. This is so cute. Woo! What do you mean flowers? Not part of the attraction, but there's some deer very nearby, some with antlers. Let me see if I can get a shot. All right, we left the park. Now we're heading to a brewery that somehow we've never been to because it's kind of a big one near us, but it's called Devil's Backbone, and they have burgers and nachos and tacos and lunch and, of course, beer, so I'm excited. There's so many here. Luke, can I just say I love your boots? Yeah, they look great. Cheers. Check this out, I got the tall glass. Yes. It really looks like more. What beer did you get? I got the Vienna Lager, yeah. which is like the classic Devil's Backbone beer. I think it's like, National I think it's nationally sold, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's very, yeah. You gotta get it while you're here. It's good. I tasted yours and yours is actually better, but um, nah. no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at these nachos. Look, at, I can smell the jalapenos from it smells so good. Oh, I've had like nothing to eat today. Nothing to eat. What? Monk. Monk. Beautiful. Beautiful. 